trick you do with business cards? Like get them. Yeah, I know <laughs> what you mean. Um, the old trick that Alison's referring to is that we get your mobile phone number, whether it comes off a business card or by other some other sub subterfuge. Uh, if we got your mobile phone number and we know where you work, we can phone you up when you're in that traffic jam on the way to work in the morning, twenty to eight or twenty to nine, or you know, we'll we'll get the lie of the land, and we ring you up and we say, "Ah, oh, Mr. Smith, I've forgotten how to spell your name." And you're thinking, hang on, this is a bit of a joke, isn't it? Is it, uh, the journalist says, nah, is it S-M-Y-T-H-E? And you go, no, it's Smith. Now you're engaged. Now you're in a dialogue. And the journalist says, oh, before I go, there is just one thing I'd like to know. This is the danger point, okay? You say, what is it? And the journalist says, blah, 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 whatever it is. And you say, well, I'd love to talk about that. Unfortunately, I've got somebody in the car with me at the moment. Or well, there's a policeman looking at me very suspiciously. Can I call you back? and you get their phone number, so you now know what the question is. Um, obviously, you, you find out who the journalist is, and you get their phone number. Now, you can go to the office, you can call PR if you want to, and you can say, Oi, I've got this person, David Tebbett, he says. Uh, this is his phone number. Is he really a journalist? PR will check him out, and if it is, it is, and if it isn't, it isn't, and if it isn't, then it's probably a competitor snooping. If it is a journalist, you might say to PR, what do I say? And PR will say, well, what do you want to say? And you tell them, and they say, yeah, why not? Or maybe they say, well, could you add a bit of proof, anecdotes, numbers, whatever. So away you go. You've got control, you've got power. You ring the journalist back, and they are happy.